Hello, everyone. Puzzles time again. This time, we have two congruent octagons. Can you cut them into several pieces, and by using them, to construct a new octagon, which has a doubled area, and exactly the same shape as these two? Please try to cut into the pieces as few as possible. Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. First, we need to think about what the doubled area octagon looks like. How should its side lengths change? We start our analysis from an isosceles right triangle. How to double this triangle? We can add an exactly same triangle. Now the area is doubled. However, to better compare their side lengths, we ought to rotate the new triangle by 45 degrees. It can be compared to the original one now. We can see, when the area is doubled, those side lengths, which used to be equal to 4 grid lengths, become the length of the diagonal of 4 by 4 grids. And the side length, which used to be the diagonal of 4 by 4 grids, is now 8 times a grid length. We can also take a look at how to double a square. We cut the square into two triangles, and use such four triangles to construct a new square. So the area is for sure doubled. To compare them, we rotate the new square again by 45 degrees. Obviously, the side lengths, which used to be 4 grid lengths, become the length of the diagonal of 4 by 4 grids. And the previous diagonal of 4 by 4 grids, corresponds to 8 times a grid length now. We are therefore aware of that, if we want to keep the shape of such kinds of symmetric polygons, and double its area, it is a good idea to rotate it by 45 degrees, and rescale all the length which used to be grid length, to the diagonal of the grid. And rescale all the diagonal of a grid, to be the doubled side lengths of the grid. By the way, this is a simple way to understand the concept of square root. Now, let's get back to this octagon. As we discussed, we now rotate it by 45 degrees. And let's draw the doubled octagon on this grid. We see, the vertical side length of the original octagon is the diagonal of a 2 by 2 grid, so the vertical side length of new octagon should be 4 grid lengths. The inclined side length of the original octagon is twice of the grid length, so in the new octagon, the inclined side length should be equal to the diagonal of a 2 by 2 grid. Therefore, we can draw the new octagon like this. To verify it, the area of the original octagon is 28 grids, and that of the new octagon is 56 grids. So it is correct. If there was not a requirement regarding the number of the pieces, we would have huge number of ways to reconstruct the new octagon. But now we want to limit the number of pieces as few as possible. To this end, let's first try the way of keeping one octagon as a whole, and only cut the other one. The key point of putting a whole octagon, or a piece into the new octagon, is to first match the edge. Therefore, we first put one octagon here. The other one obviously cannot fit in as a whole. We need one piece fits the bottom left corner, and another one fits the top right corner. So we cut the other octagon into four pieces. And fit them into the new octagon in four steps. One, two, three, four. It is done. Now we in fact, totally cut the original octagons into five pieces. Actually, Cutting and using five pieces to reconstruct the new octagon has many ways. We here just show one of them. Now, the question is whether it is possible to cut them into fewer pieces to construct the new octagon? Our target is four. As we discussed, the key point is to match the edge. We find the edge of the original octagon here. In fact matches the edge of the new octagon here. And this is exactly one-fourth of the whole edge which likely offers the possibility of using four pieces to fulfill the task. The octagon is symmetric, so we should try our best to cut the original octagon in a symmetrical way, as far as keeping the target edge. So let's try like this. And followed by such a cut. So we get two pieces. The other octagon should be cut in the same manner. And then, let's put the blue piece here. The red piece here. The yellow piece here 
and finally the green piece. Wow, it looks quite beautiful, doesn't it? Thank you for watching, and see you next time.